TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Honestly, you might get a lot of videos today, man, because I got a lot of, like, non-music I want to do, and then I see there's a lot of music that dropped, too, today, so. GG's, y'all. Uh, this is Ali G, man, the media. This is my favorite color, the yellow, huh? Let's get into it. I don't know why I just did that. Back into it. Here's an our road, boys. The media. A lot of you out there probably never even heard of the word. Is books part of the media? Absolutely. What is the point of them? I mean, I ain't done this, but <laughs> has any of you actually ever read a book? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yo, no, no, no. I was talking about the old thing. I've yep. read thousands of books in my life. I have a, Oh, I, I don't show off. But, <laughs> I mean, some people... Some hey, honestly, I'm going to tell you one thing, man. I used to hate reading. I can read, but I used to hate reading. There's so much knowledge in these books. But I'm not talking about no, like, uh, Lion or Witch in the Wardrobe, Harry Potter. Of course, that, like, reading... Damn. Slobber. Reading books like that taps into your imagination if you're trying to be a writer and you're trying to, you know, whatever. But if you go read these books, like other people's experiences, like self-help books or, 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 or I, I Got Rich Like This book, like them type of books, man, that, that, that teach you something, you might be able to take some of that and impl implement it in your life and go super far, man. So reading is important, man. I ain't even gonna cap to you, man. Well, name one then. Name one? Yeah. <laughs> I was reading one today called "Sex Lies and Videotape." Is that a is that a real book? Uh, it, uh to my understanding, it was a film, but it may no. may also. All right, be so a that's book. a film. That ain't a book. <laughs> what do you think about? Oh, uh, dude, he backed him. That's funny. Hey, this is a W man. He backed Ali G. Like, to my understanding, it's a film, but hey. May All right, so that's a film. That ain't a book. He's blue, look. <laughs> what does he think about violence on TV? Nobody, I don't think, in their right mind would say there shouldn't be any violence in entertainment. The question is, do you depict it in a way that makes it appealing? But what harm has violence ever done? Oh, death. I mean, you... you yeah, but apart from that. Well, death and injury. I mean, if well, you all die, you're injured. All right. Well, de apart from <laughs> that, you, yeah, those two things, yeah. Does you think that violence on the telly leads to violence on the street well I, I would begin with i wouldn't limit it to television you got film you well got violence in the you media got rap, you got video games with full respect though that is bs that's not that's not for bullshit. <laughs> because me watch star trek but that don't mean that me go out and build a spaceship and fly into the air <laughs> and above that into the thing called that's a great example ali g ggs you did good. <laughs> Space and have, you know, all them ears and all that thing. <laughs> that's, well, to me, that Yo, makes a point. Answer that. There's a difference between violence that is readily and is easily imitatable versus ray guns. Should telly be used to educate our children? The television could be a powerful medium for education. It well, is like currently. Sesame Street is very educationalist. I just learned a lot from that. <laughs> Why don't they make a version well, of a grown ass Sesame Alley? Street for kids? That's what it's for. What? That's what it's made for. Full respect, the other day we saw it and the letter was X. And <laughs> we don't think that kids would understand that. Check this. Did you know that xylophone is spelled from X? <laughs> but zoo is spelled like with something Z. the other one the zoo is spelled with z <laughs> do you think that there should be censorship we have censorship on television me man is there any more in 2022 there's bored barely any censorship all i do is put a tv ma tv r tv pg 13 tv pg and that's it that's all you getting out of here I remember you had to go on HBO to get something crazy. Now you can turn on any network. <laughs> it's up. <laughs> I grew up watching whatever me wanted. 
Me was watching pornos from the age of 11. And we don't see me Julie complain. I mean, what we are we all? Now. Every time. <laughs> so, they that, can't relate to the Swedish Ali. <laughs> do you think it's all right to see animals on the telly? People having sex with animals? What? No. Oh, you mean sex with animals? <laughs> Animals having no, sex. No, animals. Mean? Animals having sex with no. animals. Yeah, take it easy. Right. It is Gee. disgusting enough seeing a woman and a horse do it, but actually see. <laughs> That's funny because that used to be all on the internet. The two horses getting jiggy together. That was actually on the television. Mm -hmm. While I don't personally enjoy watching two elephants have sex uh, on a PBS special, I don't consider it pornographic. So, does you think the media put too much attention on women to look a certain way? I think that it um, does clearly present an unreal image of life. But does you think there's enough pressure being put I always be saying that, man. I know a lot of girls that be trying to do that Instagram shit, maybe using their phones, and maybe like, they be like, just trying to rep. I'm like, man, that shit's not real, bro. Half of the girls that be on Instagram doing those photo shoots, they use a real camera. Not their phone, they use a real camera. Then they export it to, they export it to the, to the computer, edit the photo edit the photo, then put it back on their phone, and then upload it to Instagram. So it's not a real image of these females out here. It's not, a, it's dudes do it too. It's not, some of the stuff's not real. It's all cap. It's all cap. So don't be bamboozled into thinking that you have to be like anybody on the internet, man. Be yourself. That's the best way to go. When you're yourself, people acknowledge it, they take it in, and they love it. Simple on women from the media because there's still so many fatty boom booms walking around people need to think about that they need to look at think about it think about where the bbl came from let's talk about it think about where the bbl came from got to editing videos somebody seen like damn she got a like she got a dump truck back there she going crazy I could never get mine like that. Let me go get some surgery. Let's see now, off an edited video, off an edited fo edited photo. Now you out there making augmentations to your body, trying to chase something that was never real in the first place. Natural is still gonna win every time for me, at least. Natural is winning. Um, a Rosie O'Donnell say, well, that's someone who looks like most more of the people I see day to day. Yeah, right. That's well, another point. come off it. Rosie O'Donnell, how much? How much? I think Rosie O'Donnell is how clearly much? the exception. Not even for a million bucks, but you wouldn't. She is the exception to this presentation. We want to say big <laughs> made up them nervous. all of you lot out here. Me hope to all my peeps out there that you has learned something and at least taken away one thing, whether it is that you would think it is all right to watch the National Geographic channel, <laughs> watch two elephant boning like this man does. You at home, make up your own mind. Keep it real. Peace. <laughs> all right, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell. You know? um, Here's if you want to follow me on any of my socials, the links are down in the description. Um, and get over there on Patreon if you want to watch some Top Boy. I'm gone.